once you've booked in, which is just done in there, you either come into the part of the park which is here, or you take that entrance out of that way, out onto the highway, turn left, and then left again into the other part of the park. around a golf, there you go, nice little mega golf course, keep the kids happy for hours. And there's a section here on the right hand side as you enter the park and just over here they've got some rental cabins. The park split up into lots of different sections, there's this section here as you come in on the left hand side which looks very nice and some could see it as a disadvantage, I actually see this as an advantage. Right next to the park is Fountain Tire, so if you have any mechanical problems, and in particular tyres, there you go, Fountain Tire right there. Some more pull throughs here, which again are pretty decent size, all things considered. And the two parks are divided by this creek here. So the part I've just been in is that part over there and this is the part that we're in. It's over there. Now the campground is divided into two parts and this is the entrance to the western part which we're in which as you can see is a nice big wide entrance, nice slope going down there down into the park. This is where you book in when you come over to the eastern part, the uh, laundry, washroom, office, all in one block. So this is the play area for the kids. Uh, and over in this half is Dino's Putting Lagoon. To be honest, it could do with a little bit more maintenance, but it is what it is. And as you can see, there's a nice variety of sites. Some pull through, some back ins. The sites are not a bad size. You get a table and a concrete pad, and enough room to park a vehicle if you want it, in addition to the one that you've got. And the other thing is that there's a lot of RVs that are obviously here for the season, and you're in between those. Um, personally, I'm not a big fan of that. I can live with it, but. A lot of people I say, here for the entire season and they obviously make it more like home. They've got their uh, stuff out permanently and it makes it feel a little bit trailer parkish. But, anyways, that's me being a snob. Okay, so, as you can see, the setting is pretty cool. There's, um, over here, you can see. A, Bit of a hillside that forms part of the valley. This is what's really disappointing, as you can see, there's just tons of weeds, no attempt to spray, and then the cottonwoods just drive you nuts. And I did some weeding in that area there, but to be honest, I really shouldn't have to be doing weeding while I'm on vacation. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you might agree with some of the things, you might disagree. Please feel free to leave us a comment. And uh, also feel free to share the video. We, uh, we enjoy making them and uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.